Hello YouTube.com, this is Lawbench191. Today I'm uh, showing you my new um, Bachman GP7 uh, in the Clinchfield Road uh, that uh, I picked up at ModelTrainStuff.com at a good price of about 49 bucks. As you know Bachman has been putting out some uh, Jeep7s, Jeep 9s and also some RS3s lately and they've just come out with some FAs and Alco S4s. Um, this is a nice unit for the money. Uh, it's not as fancy as some of the other units that like Atherin of course uh, with no sound and also uh, with Atlas. I'm comparing it today to uh, an Atlas unit just to kind of show you some comparisons with the uh, Atlas Classic that came out a few years ago. Um, <clears throat> this unit um, I think they came out probably sometime on uh, September, some whatever, whatever, November. Um, but um, the unit, um, the, the paint is excellent. A uh, really nice paint, paint on there. Uh, correct uh, number, correct paint. Uh, 912 was one of the non-dynamic brake units that uh, Clinchell had. Clinchell had a, um, a set of. Uh, non-dynamic units first they bought and then later on they purchased uh, realizing that they probably should have they purchased uh, some dynamic brake units uh, both of these units later ended up in, in the family lines uh, GP16 re rebuilding program but uh, in any event um, this unit uh, the, it, the only thing I can say about it is for the money $49 you sure cannot go wrong uh, Bachman is also, uh, of course, it comes 49 bucks, uh, DCC ready. Um, that's that's great. It runs nice. Um, also, in the fuel tank, there is a speaker enclosure. If you want to put a tsunami or whatever sound system you want to put in it, you've got a speaker enclosure in the in the fuel tank for that purpose. Uh, so I was kind of impressed with that. Um, Again, it, it doesn't have uh, certain things. Uh, it doesn't have a crew. It doesn't have uh, fancy windshield wipers on the uh, front of the unit. It doesn't have the uh, steps going up along the sides where the lights are. And it doesn't have uh, the air hoses uh, for brake air hoses on the front. You do get the um, cut levers for your coupler. Uh, it does come with that, but some of the things you don't get. So... Uh, one of the other things I like about, especially about the Clinchfield unit, if you are a Clinchfield fan, which I am, I model a lot of Southeast roads, as you all see from my videos. Um, Clinchfield, not only, uh, this paint scheme is, is a really unique paint scheme. And Clinchfield, like I said earlier, I had the non-dynamic version. Now, if you want to have a non-dynamic version of this unit, the only thing you would really have to do is change the number. Let's say you wanted to make 902, you could go in and uh, t change the number. Uh, but also, all you have to do to do that, to uh, change it to a non-dynamic, is let me show you this. This is amazing. You just pull that right off. Uh, <laughs> there's a dynamic brake blister. It fits right perfectly over the top. And uh, you do not have to, um, uh, if you want to do a non-dynamic unit in your uh, inventory there, uh, with that paint scheme, you've got it right there. Uh, there's no holes there. It just pops right back on. And, uh, of course, I'll put this right back and show you how it goes right back on real simply. Uh, pops right in. And there we go with a dynamic brake blister. Uh, and that is the proper number for 912, which was a non-dynamic unit. Um, just comparison, comparing it that with a, um, the Atlas unit. I'm going to move this unit up a little bit. Um, as you can see, the Atlas unit has the number boards and the headlight are lighted whereas the one with the Clinchville are not the Atlas unit this is um, number 909 and again this is the black and yellow scheme which came in shortly thereafter late 60s early 70s when Clinchville first started I think they got their U36's in that black and yellow scheme and they started repainting some of their gray and yellow that were really faded out by that point uh, it was much more easier maintenance and also they were kind of falling in line with the family lines so they painted their units black and yellow uh, subsequently uh, of course 909 would represent one of those units um, 
Of course, with the Atlas, this is an Atlas Classic. I paid probably about 70 bucks for it. I did put a, it didn't come with a decoder. I had to put a DH-123 in it, Digitrax. So I did that. It has a little more detail, of course. The uh, piping on the uh, wheels there has the, the, the air pipes. Uh, of course, it has all the cut levers, uh, and it has the uh, air hoses. And, of course, the ladder is going up to the top of the unit. Um, anyway, I kind of lift this up and kind of show you some of the detail. As you can see, the top detail. And you can see kind of the, the clinch fill there. And, of course, in your front, again, you do not get the, um, the lighted number board, but you do get a LED light on the front. So you can kind of see that. Um, the digit I don't know what kind of decoder that the Bachman is using. Of course, this is the DH-123 in this. Uh, what I'm going to do is kind of run these units, let you see them run together. I was amazed. Now, the Bachman buzz is starting off. You can hear that. A little buzz there. But once you get her running, she runs quite good. So my small layout at home from the Berkshire lines, I need to start putting some scenery on it. I'm going to start working on it soon here. But uh, I'm pretty amazed at how these units uh, matched up and pulled together. I, I pulled them out of the box and said, let's see how they match up. And they just matched up perfectly. I, I was pretty amazed at that, how they're not off that much at all. I had to do any adjustment on the CVs. So they run nice together. They look nice together, even though they're different manufacturers. Um, so anyway... Again, excuse my shakiness of the camera there. But, in any event, just kind of wanted to show you those units. The Bachman GP7. And there we go. Great little unit for the money. And those of you who have Clinchfield fans can have a lot of fun with that. You can do those uh, non-dynamic units. In any event, um, can't beat it for the money, 49 bucks. Modeltrainstuff.com. They've got some other southern roads, those of you that are southern fan railway fans. Uh, they've got, I believe, the GP9 and L&N, and the um, GP7, oh, GP9 also coming out, and um, um, Southern Railway. So I'll probably pick up another one of those, maybe in southern, uh, as far as that goes. And, of course, um, can't beat it for the money again. All right. Thank you very much.